Hello everyone, my name is Jamie McQuaid from Magnet Forensics and today we've got a couple of videos to help you get started with Magnet Axiom. In this video we're going to talk about uh, processing and acquiring uh, computer images um, and so we've got uh, Axiom Process up and running here. The first thing we're going to do is set um, the folder names and paths. Um, I've already got some paths already filled out. I've got two different locations, uh, my C volume and my D volume for my images on one and my case data on another on another. Um, it's totally up to you how you want to set it up, but that's just how I do it. For this, we're going to say, I'm just going to say, call it computer for our example here, and I'll call the exact same thing for the acquired evidence. So you can keep them all in the same spot or you can split them up. It's, it's totally up to you. Uh, I'm going to leave everything else. You can fill in the descriptions and all that, but uh, I'm going to leave everything else the way it is. Um, then I'm going to go to our evidence sources. So you have a choice from this point. You could uh, load in computer data, mobile uh, smartphone data, or cloud data. In this video, we're going to focus on computer data, but uh, we're going to have other videos to talk about mobile and cloud. So you can load them all in together if you've got a combination of uh, whatever for a certain case. Um, you can mix and match any way you want. This one, we're going to start with computer. So let's start with that. So we'll go computer. Now we can choose if we want to load evidence or acquire evidence. Uh, I'm going to choose acquire. We're going to say we've got some, uh, a hard drive connected to my uh, computer here. Um, we can see right here, it's uh, the physical disk. It's a one terabyte uh, hard drive right here, fixed disk. Um, got the serial number associated to it, which is great. This is an internal drive for me. This is a secondary internal drive. Um, but say you had uh, say, uh, a hard drive connected through a write blocker or something similar, it would come up the exact same way. So I'll select it. I'll hit next and now we get the acquisition options. So the default is a full physical E01 image, um, pretty common format. A lot of people like to use it. Best thing is it segments it and gives you um, uh, compression and some error checking involved with it. So that's the default setting. Um, you can also do a full physical in a raw format, which is uh, also very helpful. There's a, the all files and folders is a logical acquisition of all the allocated files and folders of this, the system. So depending on your case, you may or may not want that. Um, or the fourth one is a targeted acquisition just focusing again it's a logical but it's just focusing on very specific uh, items like the user profiles uh, the registry hives uh, prefetch files log files that sort of thing the most common things you would look for in an investigation again depends on the type of case you're working but uh, that's uh, a good option if you're trying to save space or, or time I'm gonna leave it on the default uh, EO1 format uh, just for a case here and hit next uh, we got the search type is full. I'm going to come uh, leave that on uh, as full and come back to that in a few minutes. But we can see that our uh, computer image is loaded up, ready to uh, to be acquired, and uh, we're actually back at this evidence sources screen. So I could continue to add sources of evidence. So like I said, other computer drives or mobile devices or cloud. Uh, I'm going to add in another computer image, uh, but this time I'm going to hit load evidence. Uh, this is one that say I've already acquired an image with another tool or magnet acquire or something like that. Um, you can hit. Uh, load evidence and then you can choose either a local drive an image which is the most common uh, or you can do files and folders so you just have a folder full of ost or pst files or something like that volume shadow copies or we've got uh, memory as well so i'm going to just choose image and we're going to browse to some uh, images here. I've got a whole bunch of them on this computer. Uh, let's just do a demo image that I have here. It's an EO1. It's actually segmented out. And we support a lot of different image formats. So uh, anything you create with whatever other tools, um, there's plenty of them here. Um, but you can see for the EO1 that I've got here, there's it's all segmented out. All you have to do is point to the very first one and it loads the rest in. Hit open. It'll look at it, it's pretty small, it's only uh, six and a half gigs, but it recognizes NTFS, we'll hit next. And we can see it defaults to a full search type. So the good thing there is it recognizes the file system, so it defaults to a full search, and it lets me uh, search everything in that NTFS volume. Um, I could do, do a quick or a custom if I wanted to specify certain areas for this NTFS volume. Or the other one is a sector level search. Sector level searches basically happen if the file system is not recognized. So if we load in something that we don't support in a file system, we, you can still scan it and still carve it. We'll basically carve or keyword search through it and still find some really valuable evidence. Um, if you have a choice between a quicker or, full, or sorry, a full or a sector level, always choose the full, but the sector level is good. Uh, even in scenarios, say you have a, a memory dump and you want to load that in. Obviously there's no file system to it, so it'll do a sector level search. You still get a lot of good stuff, but um, it's not going to recognize any file system there. So we're going to leave it on full here, hit next. 
and it gets queued up ready to go. We could also add memory images in here. So I can go back to computer, load evidence, and I can choose memory. So maybe I had a memory image for that computer. Um, I can choose memory here, load memory dump file, and we'll browse to, I've got a sample one here somewhere. Um, I'll use one of these right here. And if I go to memory, there's just a raw memory dump. I can load it in. What it's gonna do is it's gonna use our own memory capabilities as well as the integrated volatility framework that's in there. What you can do is you can have Axiom run image info and uh, select the profile for you for itself, or you can choose or you can choose your own profile if you already know it. I'm going to let Axiom figure it out. So it'll take a little bit uh, longer, a couple of minutes just to actually run image info to, uh, to understand what it is. Um, but then it's going to give me a recommended or a suggested uh, image type on the other side. Once that's complete, we can load it in and add it as our, our uh, evidence sources. So we'll just give it a second here. There we go, and it's all finished, and it's suggested a Windows 7, SB0, x86, so 32-bit uh, Windows 7 image, which is absolutely correct in, uh, in that uh, I know that's what uh, uh, the, uh, the operating system is. Um, you could choose a number of other ones, but uh, I, I'm going to leave it on the, the recommended one because that's what uh, the image info uh, suggests for me. I'll hit next. And again, you see it gets lined up here. So you could go all day adding evidence sources, but obviously um, if it's all related to one case, you put it in together. The more you add, the longer it takes to process, but um, it's nice to have it all in one spot. Now that we've got everything on the computer side loaded in, I'm gonna stop here. We can move on to the next video to talk about mobile acquisitions and processing. Thanks.